This said lack of oversight, documentation, discrepancies and protocols not followed for major financial transactions at St. Augustine's University. Those are just some of the findings in an overdue financial audit obtained by WRL Investigates. Destiny Patterson explains how the university plans to remedy some of the issues. This is more than 140 pages. These long overdue audits detail the financial state at St. Augustine's University from fiscal years 2022 and 2023. The university's money missteps boil down to a lack of oversight and insufficient internal controls. Auditors repeatedly found the same people could both create and post manual journal entries to the general ledger. Certain significant contracts were not appropriately approved and didn't follow procurement policies, and accounts payable weren't accurately reported. The audit also says the university owes $8.4 million in unpaid payroll withholdings and taxes for the last three Three years. In July, interim president Marcus Burgess told me the audits would cost the school hundreds of thousands of dollars to complete. Loan documents WRL investigates obtained shows the school spent $650,000 on the two audits, a necessary bill to get back in compliance with its accrediting board. Without these audits, the school would risk losing its accreditation for good, which is tied to federal funding. The audits also detail some of the steps forward for the historically black university. It says certain personnel no longer have the capacity to write and post manually. The university will form a cross-functional team that will keep track of in voice due dates and identified discrepancies in records. The school is also implementing new internal policies to meet audit deadlines. All of this comes as we get closer to the university's deadline to get back on track for its accreditation. A decision on that is expected next month, but these audit documents say that university leadership says that they believe that they will be successful in its reaffirmation process. Destiny Patterson, WRL News, Raleigh.